Hello the internet, it's Godex here. I'm just making this video to show you a modification, a small modification of made to my Korg Volker sample. The idea came out of my frustration with the MIDI connector being on the top of the Volker. It's just a bit a bit impractical for my setup and a bit inconvenient. Uh, so the idea was to install a secondary MIDI socket on the back of the unit. I bought a regular MIDI connector but soon found out that there's really not enough space. There's, there's definitely not enough space inside the Volker to fit a socket. This board here would simply get in the way. So the idea I had then was to use a smaller socket. Um, in this case, a 2.5mm audio socket. It's just got a, a thinner profile. Uh, so I mounted that inside the Volker um, and wired it directly to the back of the MIDI socket. The wiring I chose, or the, the way I chose to wire it, wire it is a bit arbitrary. There's not really any standards for how do you wire a, an audio socket for use as MIDI. Um, I chose though to wire it the same way as IK Multimedia wire their MIDI to 2.5mm sockets, just so that if uh, the lead that I make falls and dies at any point, I can grab one out of my iRig, iRig MIDI and use it instead. So what that means is that the center pin of the MIDI socket is the earth in MIDI terms. So I connected that to the what would normally be the earth connector of the 2.5mm socket. Um, you can see then the other wiring via the colors that I've used. Um, but as I say, it's a bit arbitrary how you wire that socket, um, as long as you're aware which way you've wired it and wire your MIDI lead accordingly. So I'll make a MIDI lead using this 2.5mm stereo socket, um, which we'll then plug in there. I'm only using it for synchronization. This, um, I'm going to so synchronize it with a Korg KP3 um, Chaos Pad, which I'm using as a looper, um, which I've tested and it works really nicely. Um, it doesn't, of course, add any extra functionality to the MIDI. It's, it's purely about, you know, practicality and convenience having the socket at the back. What it means now is that I can use some right angle connectors like that for the power and like that for my audio. And all my leads will run neatly off to the, to the side. That's about it. I hope that helps someone. All right. Have fun, kids. See you next time.